So we're talking about some KV Core landing pages. I'm gonna give this two seconds to uh, confirm that this is actually working. And once it is, we're gonna get started. We're not gonna delay really any time at all. All right, so today we're talking about KV Core and landing pages specifically. Now, there's some nuances that I'm gonna share with you. I'm gonna quickly share my screen so you kind of see the differences, but also so you have the options in front of you because there's this confusion on what's happening between landing pages and squeeze pages, when to use either. So we're gonna demystify that first before I actually give you the entire breakdown of what needs to happen. So with that being said, let me share my screen real quick right over here. All right, so this is KV Core. Now, depending if your brokerage is giving this to you or you're signing up for yourself, um, your the logo is going to show up here for the respective brokerage or the office that you're a part of. But what's important here to understand is to create landing pages or squeeze pages or really any other type of lead generation strategy leveraging KV Core, we're talking about the lead engine tab right here. This is what you're seeing right now. That's where you're going to go. Now, one quick distinction that I need to make between landing pages and squeeze pages because they're not the same is anytime you're leveraging homes, anytime you're leveraging properties, anytime you're leveraging information basically from the MLS that you're tapped into thanks to KV Core, you're going to be using a squeeze page. So that means safe searches, that means list of homes, that means um, instant CMAs, things of that nature you're talking about over here. So you're talking about the squeeze page portion. Now, whenever you're talking about something that doesn't necessarily have to do with properties or it doesn't always have to be about properties, that's when you use a landing page. Now, is, this, is that kind of clear? I know it's um, I know it can get a little bit confusing at times, so we can pause and go over it at length once we, once we have some questions. So as you're coming in, a like is gonna go a long way. Again, we're talking about KV Core and landing pages very specifically. Now, we're gonna go over here. So landing pages, you do need to have your domain connected. So we're gonna start building. And you're gonna see the different types of landing pages and I'm gonna walk you through what you can achieve through landing pages because it's quite powerful. What I really like about KV Core landing pages specifically is that they're very simple to create, so very, very fast, and also they integrate directly into your KV Core system and actually in many cases launches your drip campaigns with ease. That is super powerful because if you're using an independent um, landing page generator such as Builderall, such as Lead Pages, such as ClickFunnels, such as any other landing page generator that you can think of, well, you would need certain features like API Nation or Zapier to integrate the leads straight into your into your KV Core system. So whenever you go directly to the source, which is right here, the lead generation pages that KV Core gives you access to, there's none of that. So you get to launch a very effective landing page immediately. All right, so let's get started. So we're gonna go through all of the different options that you have available, and then I'll explain how they actually work. So this is one of the most common ones. In fact, it's actually the most common one that you can launch with the lead generation landing page. Now, hashtag, that is optional, but what it's saying here is when you create smart campaigns, meaning email, email drips or text drips or a combination of the two, you have the ability of selecting when you want them to be launched. And a lot of the times you can select a certain hashtag that triggers the drip campaign. So the smart campaign is what it's called here in KV Core. So if I had a uh, seller report or a buyer guide or a buyer cheat sheet, whatever, I could create that individualized, customized drip campaign and I can select the hashtag that automatically launches the smart campaign whenever this landing page is submitted. Now the submit button, this is basically, you can write what says right there you can put um give me the deals just based off of what's right here and then the url after login so after they submit their information you can send them right back to your website if you so choose send them over to your youtube channel to your facebook page to wherever you want 
that's what happens right there. Now, if you wanna require the phone number, you see right now it says optional, you go to require and that goes away. And I suggest that, I really do suggest that. Background, this is where you have the ability of being pretty creative. I understand that it doesn't give you as much flexibility as you want, but honestly, you don't need that much flexibility. You don't need all of these widgets. This makes it very simple. They've already taken the, uh, the error opportunities out of it. So it's very, very simple. Actually, my preferred one is, where is it? It's not farmhouse, it's exterior, I think. I don't know why I like that one. I don't know it's because I like that vehicle, <laughs> but you can keep going. Right, so you have some acreage, you see a little bit of motion back there. That one's one of one of my favorite ones. New construction, this is one, this is really good. If you're looking for new build construction, so that's pretty cool, right? So just giving you some different options. You can play around with that as well. You can also update, you can also have your own, you can upload it here um, and go about your business. The lead type, you select the lead type. Is this going to be a buyer, seller, renter, agent, vendor, none? All right. And then you hit save. So the, I'm going to do this once and then we're going to go through the rest of the landing pages available. But this is important for you to understand. When I hit save, it's going to give me a warning. And what this entire warning says is make sure that whenever we generate this following URL, that once you click OK, that you're going to see that you save it because you're not going to be able to come back to it. So when I press save, this right here is not coming back. So make sure that you save that. So make sure that whenever you generate this, you save it in your notes, you email it to yourself, you message yourself, however you keep notes, make sure that you keep that because again, you're not going to be able to replicate this again. So you don't want to let your all of your work go away. So just be aware of that. And that's the same thing for any landing page that you create. So now I'm gonna go back because we basically already created the first kind. And when it comes to editing, I know we didn't cover it much, but here you can edit however you want. You're not gonna be able to get too fancy with add this, take away that, this, that, or the other. So just be aware of that. But again, it's not the end of the world. You With landing pages, you want them to be simple anyway so don't overcomplicate it just make it as simple as possible so you don't have to learn any type of coding so here if you wanted to let's just say delete that you don't like that you wanted to only leave let's say this you want to delete that you want to only leave that your town real estate deals so just put real estate deals free weekly list of hot buys in and around your town that's fine and then here I promise not to spam you or whatever, or we respect your privacy, whatever you wanna say, right? And then you hit save and you're on your way. So that'll really help you out in getting things going quickly. Again, we're talking about landing pages here on KV Core. If you happen to have KV Core provided to you by your real estate brokerage, then consider yourself very, very fortunate because this is an expensive, expensive software to have. All right, so that's lead generation. Let's go to video view. This is very, very close. I actually don't really like this one by itself. So my preferred one is this. So you actually have this information right here. But you can do the video by itself or you can do the video plus lead. So let's talk about how do you actually embed the video. It's It works based off of YouTube. So what you're gonna have to do is go over to your YouTube channel. So you upload the video that you wanna use on your YouTube channel. You're gonna click on one of your videos right here. And let's just say this one. I'm gonna pause it quickly. Right there. Okay, so this ID right here, that's what they're looking for. That's the ID that you're gonna need. So after the equals, that's what you're after. Let's go back here. Oops, right over here. If you go to YouTube ID, you paste it, there it is, right? So we went to lead plus, video plus lead. We already talked about what hashtags are and what they end up doing. The submit button, we talked about that as well. You can change what it says right there. And then you can select where you want to send them after they give you their contact information. But what we didn't talk about 
was how to actually embed the video. So if you have a video that will help convey the message a lot clearer, that's how you go about doing it. And again, you can change the background, making it a little bit easier, right? Cool, cool. So if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them down below. We're talking about KV Core and landing pages. This is, um, you're not gonna find this type of video anywhere else because um, nobody's really talking about this. Content hijack. So content hijack is another way of saying a upsell or downsell. So technically, whenever somebody gives you, whenever somebody says, see the list now, they have the option of, um, you have the option of presenting something completely new, which is basically this. This is what you're, this is what they would see right now, where, hey, you're offering them something else than what they thought they wanted or what they were going to get. So that's why you see, see the list now. So if you're offering something, it's almost like a pattern interrupt. They clicked on the ad that you were promising a list of investment properties, as an example. If you're offering that, but instead of that, you offer this, which happens to be kind of in line with, <laughs> with the investment property. So that was probably a bad example, but this is kind of like that buffer page. It's, um, it's the bridge page is commonly known there as well. It's also known as the um, upsell or downsell. So you can see here, you offered them something new, which is the real estate deal. So see the list now, or they can continue going to where you, you, where you originally said that you were going to send them. So if you were going to send them to a blog, that's a better example. Let's just say you were going to send them to a blog and on their way to the blog, they're going to stumble upon this. So you see right here where it says submit button, you can change that there. So the URL that you want, so that's where that would go and the URL that, that they want. So in our example, if you're, if you originally promised a blog, as an example, you would put the blog right here. And then where you actually want them to go to, you could put them over here. So the blog was kind of used as a bait and switch. So that's why you call it content hijack, but it's m nobody knows it as content hijack. And same thing, you just put it as um, save and then it's gonna give you that warning. Hey, once you get this URL, you make sure that you save it because you're not gonna be able to find it again. The text lead, so this uses a smartphone number there's um there's some nuances to the smartphone number. We're not gonna have too much time to cover it here, but I'll cover the basics. Whenever you create your text code right here, it's very similar to the hashtag. Make sure that you go over to your to your KB Core platform and set up your call capture right here. So again, it's too um we're not gonna get too much into it. Actually, I have to go back because it's it has some um sensitive information on there. But when it comes to setting up your your capture or your code that's where you would go to do that so text and whatever it is it's one two three main street um to this and you press save and you're on your way so it's basically uh again we don't have too much time to get into the smartphone number so that's why i uh, i'm not i'm breezing right through it but it's texting that code which is going to be linked up to your to your call capture and then your smartphone number, that's what, this one's actually the small, the the office for, so if you have your own smartphone number, you, your head, your head of the game is just gonna cost you a little bit more money. So that's the text option. This is very, this is, this works very well if you're driving people from all types of traffic, whether that's Craigslist, whether that's um, Quora, whether that's, Facebook groups, whether that's your personal website, what have you, it's a great way to get somebody's real phone number because they're texting you directly. The address capture, so this is more of the, this is more of the uh, CMA option. So whenever somebody types in their address, they're gonna get a, a market report. So it's a way to capture leads. Whenever they submit their information, it's gonna ask them for their email and their phone number as a form of login. So if we press save real, real quick and get this right over here as they start typing in their address type that in assuming that I'm not logged in at the moment which I don't think I am there you go so it's asking for the email and once you start typing in your email it asks for the cell phone as the password so that's a great way for you to start capturing 
leads as well. So that's more from the seller side. So a lot of you are asking for listings, a lot of you are asking for sellers. So this is how you would go about doing that. You would create your own landing page. Now, let's see if I can go back. All right, so again, we're talking about KB Core and we're talking about landing pages, all the different landing pages that you can create through KB Core. We just went through this address capture. Now we're gonna to go to the Facebook chat. You do need to connect your Facebook chat in order for this to happen. So this is your Facebook Messenger chat. Submit button, same thing. You can change that if you wanted to. You have your your um, where it's gonna to point to, which is gonna be your personal profile. And then the background, you can always change that. You save that and you're on your way. You can always edit this again. You can delete, you can overwrite this or, or write it in it, edit, all that fun stuff. And you have highly effective landing pages. I know we went super fast, but really, I want you to understand what landing pages are versus what landing pages are not. See the differences between the KB Core squeeze pages and the landing pages. You see all the flexibility that you have with landing pages on KB Core, how quickly they are to set up. The simplicity is awesome. And also the integration into your KB Core is amazing as well. If you have any questions, drop them down below. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.